everyone. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the craziest airsoft helmets and masks you can buy on the internet. We're going to be starting out with a $10 mask and working our way up all the way to a $400 airsoft helmet at the end of the video. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so jumping into the first mask. So basically, you guys can kind of see already what this looks like. This is a Lancer Tactile Emerson Gen 2 mesh mask. So let's actually get this guy unboxed real quick and we'll check it out a little bit closer. We've got our trusty knife here. All right, so this guy is actually a funny price. It is $9.86, and obviously we'll be working our way up to the more expensive ones every single time we go up a mask. So I just kind of want to show you guys and highlight some of the cool and quirky, crazy masks you can buy online for Airsoft, and I'll also be testing them out, obviously, to see if they can withstand some BBs. <laughs> You kind of just get a, honestly, not a bad looking mask. This thing actually has some cool details. You can see some like engravings. The mesh is actually metal, so it'll protect your eyes from BBs. But the problem is when you do look through this guy, you just see the mesh. So if your eyes get adjusted to it, it's not too bad. I'll show you guys what that looks close up. Bruh. If you like that or don't mind it, then go for it. But personally, me, I like a clear lens. So that's kind of the weird stuff with this. But at least you get some kind of padding in the mask as well. So not too bad. And you do get a strap that has kind of like a bigger backing part. It kind of just supports and is more comfortable. So at least that's good. And obviously, you have this plastic protection for the actual mask itself. We'll actually test out with a proper airsoft gun if this guy can actually withstand some BBs or if it'll just go straight through those little plastic teeth and uh, shoot out your actual teeth. But that said, let's go ahead and test this guy out. All right. So I got our chronograph all set up with 0.20. This is going to be our first airsoft gun. We're we're gonna test out with the actual mass. This is the gas well back SSP5 pistols. I got some green gas in this guy as well as some 0.20s. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's shooting. 800, she that's definitely not right. There we go. Okay. <laughs> 318.8 with 0 0.94 joules. 314.7 with 0 0.92 joules. 307.1 and then with 0 0.88 joules. All right, and if they can survive that airsoft pistol, we got this guy up next. Nice. We're going to be shooting them on full auto, and if they survive that too, I also got a little grenade launcher as well. So, 388.6 with 1.4 joules, 387.5 with 1.39 joules, and then the last one, 388.2 with 1.4 joules. And then let's see what this guy's actually shooting on full auto. 32.8 is the rounds per second. And I actually did some 0.32 gram BBs instead of the 0.20s. These are just a little bit heavier. It'll probably help penetrate this guy a little bit more. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's got. Wow. Yep, this guy does not like the cold. The rest of the test will just use that M4. But I just want to kind of show you guys the uh, type of damage you'll do to this type of guy. Um, nothing really too bad, nothing penetrated. As you can see, it has some of that like BB residue kind of like on the actual lens itself. Now that I think about it, with this type of mask, like if you have a BB actually hit this and actually break apart, those particles can still get in your eyes. So I don't know if I'd really recommend this, but at least for the, uh, you know, strength of this guy for 10 bucks, not too bad. It didn't actually have any penetration. You can see there's a little bit of dents, but nothing really crazy but let's see what this guy holds up to the uh, thousand rm4 grenade launcher setup we'll start with a couple semi max shots see what that looks like so it's holding up pretty well obviously you can see there is a big dent obviously on this guy so yeah it does protect your eyes but you know for how long and this guy like you saw is shooting 30 rounds per second so let's see what it does yep there it goes Right, next up is this gas mask looking guy. So this guy is basically doubling the price from the last one. This one is coming in at about $20. I've seen this guy a few times on the field, enough to where I would be interested to see if this guy will withstand some BBs. So basically for 20 bucks, you're getting a little bit more detail and you do get some cool features like this little on the side, even with a little hazard sign on there, pretty cool. And obviously the plastic is flexible, so that actually helps with maybe the wearability of the mask. All right, with this guy, it actually comes with some little protectors for the lens. It is a clear lens, so you can actually see through it without any difficulty. And as far as the wearability, you actually do get a upgrade with the back part of this. It is actually rubber and it's not just some like loose straps that will get annoying and irritating while you're in a game. You do get a little bit of cushioning you could call that with that, you know, rubbery part in there. And you get a whole bunch of these little straps so it is probably more secure and they all are fully adjustable. All right, let's go test this guy out and see if we can withstand some airsoft guns. All right, since our SSP-5 had a little bit of issues with the cold, let's try the SSP-18 and see if this guy is gonna do any better. And you guys were curious actually on the FPS of this guy, let's go ahead and test it out with 0.20s. 282.9 with 0.74 joules. 281.4 with 0.74 joules again. 
and then 280.9 with 0.73 joules. Pretty consistent though. And I got this guy set up with a fun little laser too. Alright, so as far as damage goes, not too bad. Looks like the lens is still intact and the actual, you know, integrity is it's not going to pop out or anything like that. Seems like I do not really feel any dents. Obviously, you could see that it actually, you know, like left a little mark on the actual lens itself. It's pretty much recommended with most masks. If you do get shot in the eyes multiple times, you should probably replace a lens just to make sure you're good to go. But let's step it up a notch and see if this guy will stand at a thousand RM4. Looks to be holding up pretty fine. Let's go ahead and try the grenade launcher out and see if this guy can withstand some full auto in the same spot now. Nope. All right, so it looks like this guy did not last very long. Well, the whole lens seems to be uh, gone. <laughs> this guy looks like it kind of cracked. I'll do a little slow-mo repeat of actually what happened. There's the actual pieces right there. But if you are going to be balling on a budget, I would recommend obviously replacing the lens if you do get shot in the eyes a couple different times. I would never recommend something this cheap for iPro, but if you are gonna do something like this, then I would recommend if you get shot in the same area a couple times, or if you see some kind of marking or denting, I would definitely replace this guy. But for 20 bucks, at least it did survive quite a few shots it didn't just break through the first time but yeah i definitely wouldn't recommend something this cheap though all right so next up we got a little box for this guy this one is coming out at about 36 dollars and at least you get a little bit more protection obviously with these uh you know like bubble wrap kind of things too so that's nice take this guy out let's see what it looks like Ooh, look at that okay this one's pretty sick all right so this one is about double the price of the previous one and you can kind of tell right when you look at it this one is obviously mimicking the snake eyes mask so pretty cool it has this really cool like you know silver paint going on the uh you know strip right there pretty sick kind of just highlighting it overall from the black look and contrasting it more and it looks like they kind of tried to mimic some like metal welds or something like that on the actual top of the mask and the bottom so it's pretty cool it actually kind of makes it look like it's a metal mask obviously it is plastic but it kind of makes it from afar look like it could be even like welded and metal together that's what it actually looks like when you're looking through i'll show you guys right there so quite interesting obviously you'll have to get used to that so as far as the quality of the construction with this guy it's pretty nice five straps with this guy kind of you know adjustable as well and it has kind of like a nice really big pad on the back to actually be comfortable on the back of your head it has a whole bunch of padding actually on the top and the two sides as well so i bet this guy is pretty comfortable to wear the visibility is actually restricted again by these metal wires obviously going for the snake eyes look as well it looks really cool but yeah it just does actually obstruct your vision further as well as these like crazy black little mesh holes so you know you get double things working against you for the vision thing but i'm guessing it's not too bad when you actually wear it and get used to it but if you really want to look stylish in the field this guy is definitely a pretty sick choice i can't even really bend this thing so it's probably super solid construction and i bet it could survive a few different falls so i'm gonna go ahead and give it some shots to kind of see if the paint is actually high quality and can take some shots or it'll just chip right away and obviously we'll do some shots to the metal mesh itself let's start with that ssp18 see what this guy's got whoa interesting 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 okay so i did quite a little bit of a variety of different shots so the top would start with that it does leave little marks but nothing too bad but geez okay when we come down to the actual lens itself that is very interesting so as far as the paint quality with this guy it is not looking too good but the more concerning part is just like one shot right here just kind of chips away that much paint and it does leave an actual dent which is very concerning if the bb hits that black mesh right there and it just chips away that much paint won't those like paint pieces or paint shards like just like go straight into your eye almost i don't know if it just falls down right there or is like the bb impacting that little paint kind of like break and go straight into the mask where these little holes are and just and it goes straight into your eye i don't know if that's like how that works but geez that is not very uh not very good i don't really have high hopes that this guy will survive the m4 and grenade launcher but we'll go ahead and test it out see boom i shot one time and look how much paint that like disperses and look at that size of that dent that's insane Wow, that thing just really went through quick. Okay, yikes, holy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and turn this thing on full auto. And uh, yeah, I guess there's only one more thing to do is just absolutely destroy this mask. Woo, 
that thing is gone. Okay, this is not what I wanted to see with this price of a mask. You would think at this price point they would have their stuff figured out, but geez, you could tell the actual material and like how thin it is that they use at the top there. Just it's obviously hard to see on camera. I'll try to zoom in for you guys, but yeah, it just definitely doesn't look too uh, thick to uh, survive a BB. Geez, yeah, all the paint is just not good quality. The mask just like shot through and broke a whole bunch of different areas. It's dented throughout the whole thing. But yeah, you could see like they use like kind of foam material on the top here. These like little wires, I guess they got and they kind of glued on to make it look like the uh, snake eyes mask. Yeah, this guy is very uh, dangerous to use. All right, next up is this really cool mask. You guys can already kind of see the detail. Let's go ahead and just unbox this guy quick and I'll show you guys what it actually looks like. Here is the mask. This thing is absolutely insane, really cool. It's basically mimicking the 40D Smiley from Army of Two, so pretty sick. Obviously, I keep saying I'm not a huge fan of this metal mesh stuff. The visibility is restricted, but I do have to agree with their choice on this mask. I think if this was plastic lenses instead of this metal mesh, it wouldn't look nearly as good. This guy it seems to be pretty good constructed. It is a little bit flexible, but not too much. I think it is made of fiberglass. and obviously has little metal screws throughout holding the actual straps in place, so that's very nice. Obviously, my glove's broken, so I can feel all the little details with all these little engravings on the mask. Pretty cool, honestly. And obviously this crazy smile too. These are all like 3D teeth. All right, so now turning it to the inside, you can see the fiberglass construction right there. Pretty cool. And obviously you can see with this guy, the padding is a little bit higher quality. It has kind of like a material over the actual padding itself. So it just kind of looks a lot more high quality, if you will. This guy is actually a hundred dollars. So you would kind of expect a upgrade in quality, obviously with that price point. This seems to be, you know, pretty reasonably comfortable. I'll actually have to test that out and see. And obviously you do get these uh, straps that are actually able to come undone. So if you want to actually place this somewhere and not have these straps on there, you can actually take it off and put it on as you wish. So that's kind of nice little feature. And you get five total straps. So that's always good to have more. So it's a little bit more comfortable and you have more adjustability as well. With this type of detail, you don't even really have to know the video game to appreciate this mask. It just looks really cool and aggressive. The one thing I have to point out is it actually doesn't have a little hole for your teeth. I'm not sure if the mask inside would get super hot. You do have these actual, you know, extra ventilation with the, uh, you know, metal mesh itself. But I wonder if it's annoying to constantly just breathe up into your eyes like that. It might get kind of irritating. That is one thing I'll have to test out. But that is the only con I can see with this guy. Obviously, unless you just don't like the detail or look of the mask. Pretty cool for hundred bucks. This one you can actually use like the iron sets on the guns. All the other ones you can't really use it. I mean, you could like force use them, but all the other ones so far, you kind of want a red dot side with a uh, riser on it. But with this, you can actually use it with a uh, standard iron sights, which is pretty cool. Boom, bada bang. All right, you guys can already see what this is all about, but this guy is super sick. This guy is going to be coming at 120 bucks. You guys already know the look. This is a Boba Fett mask. I'm really excited to actually see what this looks like in person. The pictures look really cool. I'm excited to see what it really turns out like. So there is Boba Fett's little antenna right there. Pretty cool. Put that to the side. Then let's go ahead and pull this out and see what it looks like. Right, people, this is the mask. So we have some instruction manuals over there. This guy actually is able to use a battery in it. I think it takes a AAA battery, so I'm not sure what that is all about, but we'll see in a second here. All right, so this is what we got. Really sick. All the detail is super cool on this guy. I do have to tell you guys right away before you get too excited. This is not a airsoft helmet that is able to be used in a game. If you shoot this little plastic lens, according to the description of the website I bought it from, it will go straight through and you definitely do not want to test it out on the field. So this one is just for looks. I decided it looked really cool. It was kind of somewhat airsoft related. So I did want to show you guys kind of the detail of this real quick since we're on some cool airsoft masks. Obviously this guy has a really cool dent in it too to make it look even more realistic. At least I'm 99% sure that is for looks and it wasn't just damage. But it's got really cool like paint, obviously different colors. This is a full plastic mask, but the paint kind of makes it look like it is actually like, you know, metal that's wearing off the paint. So it looks really realistic. So this is the actual inside of the mask. I'm using my phone light just to help a little bit with the looks, but that is kind of what it looks like inside. Obviously full plastic. You do get these kind of like tan, like brownish little like pads on the back, which is actually kind of nice. They look pretty cool. They don't feel extremely high quality, but definitely not too bad. But as far as the inside, it's just a whole bunch of kind of cool details. Nothing extremely crazy. It just kind of a whole bunch of plastic little features in here. You do get some ventilation out the back with this little guy. Let's go ahead and actually see what this is all about. But this guy is electric. So we have to actually find out how this guy is actually supposed to work. So this is what the little antenna guy looks like. Pretty cool. And obviously you could press this and it'll go out to the side. So kind of mimicking him looking through it. If you take this little flap off the end right here, it actually has a further visibility. So I'm pretty sure when this thing is all plugged up, it goes to the side right here and you actually have a really cool like little visual like target system. Oh, pretty sick. So it has like some little like LEDs on the side to kind of like, you know, make this like more visible and look like it's on. And it has these really cool like blinking lights to make it look like you're like locking onto a target. Pretty sick, actually. All 
All right, next up, we're stepping it up a little bit here with this guy. This guy is gonna come in about somewhere between three and $400 for this airsoft mask. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. And obviously this guy came from across the world for me, so pretty sick. Let's go ahead and see what we got. I received these actually quite a long time ago. The company actually saw the videos that I did in the past about the helmets and they wanted to send a few for free. So that's actually what these are all about. That's why I have no idea actually what he sent. Um, so without further ado, let's actually go ahead and see what we got. Quite the protection with this guy, so very nice. Obviously, when you get this expensive of an airsoft mask, you definitely want some protection. They outline the whole box with this really cool, like foam kind of stuff. That's really nice. And obviously, they kind of put these uh, pieces of foam throughout the box as well to kind of just like further protect this guy and obviously some bubble wrap on the actual mask itself. So let's see what we got in here. Pretty excited. These are obviously really cool. You guys have seen a few of these in the past. These things are absolutely insane. For example, this is the same company that did this thing. So obviously, you guys know the detail is going to be insane. I'm really excited to see what these are. I'm actually not. 100% sure what he actually sent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we got. Obviously lots of bubble wrap. That's a good thing. Obviously you don't want your helmet to get messed up when it's shipping. So let's go ahead and unwrap this guy. Here we got. Oh, it even has some like further like wrap on that too. So very protective. That's always good. Whoa, what is this? Ooh. All right, let's check this guy out. Hope I don't go too, too fast here. I don't want to break anything, but damn, I'm super excited to see what this guy looks like. I'm gonna have to use our knife real quick here. Ooh, look at this guy. Whoa, okay. All right, so this is what we're working with. Pretty sick. Wow, this is, damn, this is sick. Okay, so this is a Titanfall 2 pilot helmet. Jack Cooper to be exact, but this is pretty sick. Okay, I love the detail. It kind of looks like spray paint kind of like for the actual like name for this guy. It looks really cool right here. I love the like stripe with the paint, like all the little details as far as the like colors, even like the little like worn pieces right there. Super sick. I mean, look at the like little insignia right there. That is just amazing. Like look at all the detail with this guy, like all the little tiny grooves and like indents and like all these like popping out 3D parts and like even the colors within them. I mean, this thing just looks absolutely insane. They actually even have some Mimic Picatinny mount rails, which are plastic, but I'm pretty sure these actually would able to use something on there. Wow, turning to the back, I didn't even see this. It actually has real life like straps, which is really cool detail. I mean, look at this thing. R2 has like all these little details, like the strap, even like when it comes down to here, it looks like you could even use this, which is really cool. Just so detailed and thought out. I mean, the paint looks amazing. The details are awesome. All the little 3D parts is just awesome with this guy. So during the shipping, I think this little like guy got a little bit bent, which is okay. Okay, but obviously it's kind of mesh, so you can probably just like, you know, put that back easily, which is not a big deal. But obviously this is the inside. You get a really nice strap with this guy. So here you go. Boop. And then you actually be able to put your head in these. And obviously we've had some of these in the past. They're actually very comfortable to wear surprisingly. So you get these like crazy padding in the top. And you actually have this little nine volt, like basically battery holder right there. There's actually a little switch right there. So you actually turn it on, which you're probably wondering, well, what is that even for? And that's actually going to spread light onto this little visor looking thing, which is actually going to make it look like through the mask, it's actually portraying a blue light, which is really sick. And obviously it adds a really cool contrast to the whole thing with this little like green paint on the outside. This guy comes in about $400 for shipping. It's pretty pricey, but obviously you get what you pay for. This thing is absolutely insanely detailed. You're never going to find something like this detailed for an airsoft mask. Obviously this is the airsoft version too. So you're actually able to take some shots to the visor. Again, this guy is super expensive and I'm obviously going to give these away to club members. So I'm not really excited to actually try to shoot these, but according to the manufacturer, these are airsoft proof and you can use it in a game. You can test it out yourself before you go play to make sure. This guy is just absolutely insane. Like, look at all the paint, the details, the contrast the different colors, all the 3D stuff sticking out, even these fake little like screws in the actual mask itself to make it look more realistic. I mean, this thing is just insane. If it were me, obviously, I would probably just put this in my room or something. I mean, this is definitely an art piece in itself. It just looks absolutely insanely cool. As you guys see, I got a little too excited and started unboxing this guy without recording, but without further ado, this guy is a second one from that company. You know I had to do a second one. These guys are just too cool, and this guy comes in again about like $400, so absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and actually see what we got. Same style for the actual safety for the helmet. We got some padding as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out. I'll show you guys what we got. All right, party people, let's see what this guy looks like. I'm super pumped. Obviously, you guys saw the last one. Super detailed, and I just cannot wait to see what we got for this guy. Ooh, oh! Oh, is this an ODST helmet? Let's go. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big Halo fan, so this is gonna be fun. We'll go ahead and see what this guy looks like real quick. You can obviously see if you know the video game, what this guy is. This is from Halo ODST. All right, so here we go. This is what it looks like, really sick. So obviously the Halo ODST helmet in itself is a little bit more simple than that Titanfall 2 helmet. And this guy is like the full version. Obviously it is really pricey, but it's fully painted, fully customized. Everything is ready to go with this guy. It's wearable and it is airsoft ready as well. So pretty sick. That is why it is very expensive. But this guy is kind of the same as the previous one. Has that really cool like blue visor right there. So obviously you get that like really cool blue LED look through the mask itself. It has that little holder for the nine volt battery. 
battery as well as the switch right there. And it has the same style for that little chin strap as well. Obviously with that crazy amount of padding inside that makes it really comfortable, surprisingly for this style of helmet. And obviously this guy seems to come with a little fan or something. So maybe they just started implementing this in their newer ones just because it might help with the fogging situation because I noticed that it was a problem with the previous one. And obviously this guy has a little bit more of that like faded weathering look on the stripe on the top, kind of making it look like this guy's helmet has been in some combat. So pretty sick. All right, guys, that was the video. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Make sure to leave a comment down below. What do you want me to do next? Make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy this content and like the video. That is really appreciated. And thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.